Welcome to the 2022 award ceremony for the Newman Prize for English Jeju. This year, we will be celebrating the work of six winners from across the globe who have each received a $500 check and a commemorative certificate from the University of Oklahoma signed by the president of the university. The Newman Prize for English Jeju winners this year were selected on the basis of their mastery of both regulated and unregulated forms of classical Chinese poetry written in English. While in the past the competition has only been open to Oklahoma students, in 2021 OU added a new UK category, and this year we've opened up others as well. This year's winners include those who compose poems in unregulated Jeju, which requires poets to follow the basic rules of Jeju, including using only a monosyllabic vocabulary and following a set meter based on two and three word units, and end rhyme scheme. And each line has to follow a thematic constraint known as qi cheng zhuan hu, as well as regulated Jeju, which requires poets to follow all of those rules as well as creating parallelism of meaning and parallelism of sound between the lines of the first couplet, and follow a set of patterns that are vowel patterns handed down over 1,500 years. The vowel patterns used in the re winning Jeju here are represented in this video by using a grid of alternating white and black squares. White squares represent the full vowel sounds called ping, while the black squares represent clipped or shortened vowels called zi. These shorter vowel sounds happen in monosyllabic words, English or Chinese, that end in unvoiced consonants like p, t, k, s, or f, ch, and sh, as well as the unvoiced th sounds. If you're interested in learning more about these forms that the poets have written, um, then please visit our English Jeju resources on the prize website. Okay, let's take a moment to explore this year's winning poems, starting with our international winners. The winning UK European Jeju category poem this year comes from Jeanette Tianwei Law of Milan, Italy, and her poem is entitled For Those Who Flee. She notes that her entry is based on a translation of a family heirloom poem originally handed down to her in Chinese. Jeanette chose to translate this Jeju into a zi start seven word rhyming first line Jeju. Let's take a listen. I'm Jeanette Tianwei Law, and my Jeju is called For Those Who Flee. Swift horse, flee horde, swords wax war, winged ride. Comb cliffs, fate's moon door. Strange walls, shred nest, home ways weep. Dawn mist, jade swells, ships reach. Sure. This striking poem follows the Pinza vowel pattern perfectly and begins with a couplet replete with perfect semantic parallelism, pairing swift horse with winged ride and flea horde with comb cliffs, and the apocryphal swords wax war paired with fate's moon door. The poem's final couplet speaks of the perilous journey and a difficulty of exodus and the promise of a safe harbor. This is a masterpiece of regulated Jeju. This year's winning entry from other regions is entitled Smolensk Lake and was submitted by Maria Sorokina. She's a faculty member in the Department of Computational Mathematics and Cybernetics at Moscow State University. Her Jeju is a perfect example of a regulated to the start, seven word rhyming first line Jeju. Let's take a listen. Hello, my name is Maria. I'm from the old and beautiful city of Smolensk. I'm extremely happy to be a part of this wonderful competition. Let me present my Jeju, which I wrote thinking about shining beauty of the Smolensk Lakes National Park 
and about human life itself. Rich life, green shine, fresh silk leaves, blue sky, bright lake, bright wild leaves, small trail, dark grass, roam your path, each spot to spend pleasant last While Maria doesn't take as much advantage of the semantic parallelism in her first couplet, the perfect vowel pattern coupled with the contemplative beauty of the poem's form and content makes this truly a gem of a poem. This year's winner in the U.S. Adult University Student category is Silas Pelican from Princeton, New Jersey a student at Middlebury College in Vermont, and he submitted a nearly perfect example of a zostart seven-word rhyming first line dredge here. Let's take a listen. Hello, I'm Silas Pelican, and I'll be reciting my dredge Dusk Ridge. Capped peaks, young pines, soft drifts blow, light moss, stark earth, scant ferns grow, Sun fades, glance up, warm red light, frost bites, cling to, last faint glow. While there is one syllable, the word moss, occupying a position that could have included a ping word, the poem otherwise has followed that ping up pattern perfectly, and his first couplet is a lovely example of semantic parallelism, as capped peaks contrasts with light moss, as young pines contrast with stark earth. And finally, soft drifts blow provides another antithetical parallel resonance with scant ferns grow. The poem came out on top because of his attention to poetic details as well. They create a subtle beauty in his lines. His imagery includes not green moss, but light moss not just green ferns, but scant ferns, and so on. And his third line, that Juan turning line, directs these, the reader's attention to notice the way that the sun fades, and it fades in shades of red, while we notice how that late signs of winter are also illuminated by this faint glow. It's a single moment of distilled experience, revealing something of the essence of the Jeju form. The winner of the U.S. high school category is Julia Alvarez of John Paul II High School in Dallas, Texas. Her poem is another amazing example of a Zostart seven-word rhyming first line regulated Jeju. Let's take a listen. Julia Varenga, I attended John Paul II High School in Plano, Texas, and now I'm a rising freshman at Harvard College, and I'll be reading my Jeju poem today. Raw night, dim clouds, cold mist, flow. Pale moon, snow drifts, sweet winds blow. New day, green grass, so home rests. Strong roots, gold sun, time slips slow. In this poem, we find a lovely example of parallelism in the first couplet, raw night paired with pale moon, and then dim clouds paired with snow drifts. And the three word units, cold mists flow paired with sweet winds blow. It's really wonderful. Julia's second couplet introduces the human feeling of rest, setting up a reflection on the importance of grounding ourselves at home as well as in time. This year's Oklahoma winner is Jackie Gibson, an OU master's student whose perfectly regulated Zostart seven-word rhyming first line Dreju delves into the global warming crisis, yet it ends on a note of hope. Let's take a listen. Hi, my name is Jacqueline Gibson, and this is my poetry submission for the 2022 Newman Prize for English Dreju. Globe warms, peaks melt. 
fresh streams gone earth heats coal burns thirst halts spawn bleak hope change can cure this blight grim breeze preach peace mount new dawn thank you Jackie's poem was unique in the way that she employs semantic parallelism between the units of the first two lines to draw a sharp and alarming sense of interconnected causality driving the global warming catastrophe. As she pairs peaks melt with coal burns and fresh streams gone with thirst halts spawn. After drawing the reader's attention to the ecological interconnectedness between cause and effect, she turns the poem in line three to gird the reader by maintaining our need for hope to motivate change. The Jueju form is very versatile and it's built upon the ecological foundation that seeks to reveal the permeable line between humanity and nature. And this year, the Oklahoma winner is being recognized for her efforts to bring this traditional element to bear upon the current ecological crisis. Last but not least is this year's winner for the U.S. Middle and Elementary School category, and her name is Emma Lee from Clear Spring School in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Let's take a listen to her poem. Hi, I'm Emily McDermott from Eureka Springs, and this is my Joy Ju poem. Warm rain, cold draft, big bee flies. Soft sleet, ice breeze, life is wise. Lay down, be calm, soak it up. Come see the sun in blue skies. In her unregulated Joy Ju, she offers up a cup of antithetical imagery, painting a picture of nature's quite unpredictable weather, followed by another couplet that gently suggests that if we take our time to soak it up, we will not fail to notice that the sun shines from a blue sky. Congratulations again to the 2022 winners. Now let's listen to the poems that have been given honorable mentions this year. The first begins with the Oklahoma category, which went to Bradley Quee. Let's listen to his poem first. Hi, my name is Bradley Quee, and this is my original Dreju. Bright start, new sun, faint dark dawn, calm mind, soft light, thoughts now spawn, raise head, deep breath, freeze aged heart. Look up to see, hope's not gone. Thanks. Bradley's poem follows that to start seven word rhyming first line Dreju pattern and it introduces semantic parallelism between new sun and soft light, as well as lighter resonances elsewhere. Bradley's poem emerges as a truly excellent Dreju in part due to his powerful third line, that Dran turning line, which follows the rule to introduce human feelings and or concepts by instructing his readers to raise their head, to breathe in deep, to free that aged heart, only to look up and see that hope's not gone. Next, we return to Dallas for an honorable mention in the U.S. high school category. The honorable mention goes to Eva Tolkington, whose poem is a powerful example of a ping start, seven word, rhyming first line trade you. Let's give a listen. Warm bridge, smooth rock, cold stream flows. Soft moss, light hum, free fish goes. Drunk feet, wet hem, wry swift thoughts. Cool calm, dark dusk, new wind blows. 
Eva's lines not only follow the Pinza vowel pattern almost perfectly, but also she gives us a startling couplet with some very nice parallel units, like cold stream flows and free fish goes. Eva also has a lovely turning line, which introduces nuanced details, like the wet hem of pants after wading in a stream, or the wry thoughts that come to mirror that very same stream. Now we have a second honorable mention that also goes to a student at John Paul Second High School in Dallas, Texas, and her name is Alice Walker. Let's go ahead and listen to her uh, Zostart, seven word, rhyming first line, Jeju. Fresh mist, soft ground, dawn lights flee, strong breeze, harsh cliff, clear, vast sea, sparse void, moonlight, old man's wish, bright torch, vast sky, clouds float free. This is another nearly perfect regulated English Jeju. It follows the prescribed vowel pattern. Only the words clear and vast, these perhaps could have been switched. And her poem includes strong parallelism with the unit fresh mist paired with strong breeze and soft ground contrasted with harsh cliff. Next, we move back to the East Coast for the two last honorable mentions in the US category. First is Sophia Eisenberg from New York City, also a student at Middlebury College. Now she's taking home an honorable mention for her to start seven word rhyming first line trade you. Let's take a listen. <clears throat> Stark peak, cloud bends, strong storms rage, bare tree, light slants, wild winds wage. Now grown, can't just go home yet. Dusk sets, dawn stalls, much must age. Sophie's poem also follows the vowel pattern perfectly, but she includes some exciting parallel units as well, like dark peak contrasted with bare tree and cloud bends with light slants. Both of these mysteriously cast greater attention to aspects of light. While strong storms and wild wind, these of course create an airtight parallel structure. The third and fourth lines introduce a complex set of human concepts that bring into question the nature of time. Lastly, New York resident Kressel Hausman receives an honorable mention for her original unregulated Jeju. Let's take a listen. Thick peels hide pit of true core. Each husk holds seed to build more. So too our souls, they're deep in. Mere flesh cloaks spark, but deeds soar. This unregulated Jeju explores the Jewish teaching that the soul is the inner spark of all humans and our bodies are just their shells. While her metaphor of fruit and seeds, these originate from the Kabbalah. Since her poem has been previously published in a novel written by the poet, it couldn't be considered for a prize this year. But it is very clear the Kressel be a Jeju poet to look out for in 2023. Congratulations again to everyone, and we look forward to reading your poems in the next 2023 English Jeju competition.